I want to try this again with the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod. So it has the speaker, it has the plug-in for the mic and all that good stuff. And the yesterday when I went riding, I have to do a little voiceover because it was epic riding with the Beta 125, hence 150 now. But I didn't know there were settings for the Media Mod, so I still had it on front. Even though I had a jack plugged in, I think it still picked up mostly the audio from the mic from the front. It was more biased towards the front. So now I said rear and have the mic plugged in as standard because well, that's the type of mic it is. So it should work just fine. So we're going to see. This way it gets rid of my Tascam DR05. Just one extra piece of equipment and syncing audio and stuff. So we're going to see. And I hate these mirrors, but I fooled around with it this morning. And I uh, got, you have to tighten this down to here because otherwise the post is loose and then it still swivels. So you need that post on secure. But then there's really no thread for the this upper this upper unit to slightly move. I'm thinking of tapping a small hole in the side of this plastic so it can act as like a, uh, a pin to cinch in, maybe drill in and drill into the threads a little bit. And just once you know have this in a, pro a position you would typically have it and then have a set screw and just set screw it right in just so it doesn't rotate you know that's all i'm asking really they need two nuts here so you can tighten down and tighten up for this but they don't otherwise the mirrors work great i mean other other than that they're big for off-road use you know but <sighs> I guess the only issue with having a set screw there is then putting it down. I mean, you could go like that, but you wouldn't be able to turn it inwards like that. So that would be one problem. Yeah, it's really, they, they should think it through more and maybe have a, a good mirror solution for all their bikes. Okay, pet cock's on. I filled up plenty of fuel in my garage. Yeah, if you were using this bike mainly on the road, you would definitely want to put it, that set screw in the mirror because, you know, you wouldn't be folding it over any to go off-road if you're just using this as like a commuter bike. Because then it would just stay in one position. It would be good. The only thing I can think of to uh, keep this so it doesn't blow towards you would be to put electrical tape around the base of the post. That would be another solution, you know, so it couldn't move. This is how I feel like most mirrors work. They don't on motorcycles, <laughs> at least off-road type bikes. It's like it's such an afterthought for them. It should be a safety thing, so you should have some awesome folding mirrors from the get-go. And obviously the ones to get would be the double take with the ram mount, but they are pretty pricey. But that's what you would get, you know, and then you thread the ball in and hook it here and it would be good to go. I, maybe that's the only other way would be to actually red Loctite the post into the threads and the metal. And then use the jam nut on the plastic side. Yeah, that's probably about the only way you're, you're going to be able to do it. top here this guy was all quick to get up here just to wait and his nowadays that would be old school Z3 
I could actually have bought a Z3 brand new for $23,000 from an African dealer. Because we knew the owner of a dealer in Africa, he said his cost was $23,000 when they were first came out. So, yep, could have got one. <laughs> My father was like, uh, no. <laughs> when I moved back to the States. So right after high school, I went to uh, Lomé, Togo. Lived there for a bit. And, uh, like I said, the BMW dealer was pretty, we knew him. Try and think of his name, it's been so long. I think it was Tony. So the idea that he would sell me one at cost wasn't because necessarily buddy buddy. It was because that would go on his record of selling one more vehicle. It would just look good to to uh, BMW in Europe that hey, this guy sold five BMWs this year and three Mercedes, you know? <laughs> yeah, a good year for him was like selling five cars. Isn't that pretty funny? I mean, compared to American dealerships. Yep. So that, that was their cost back then. And then of course they would drop ship it anywhere. That's why he was like, well, you know, you place the order with me, it gets drop shipped to whatever dealership in the U.S., it's $23,000. You know, it didn't matter where, where we were. Oh, this is going to be fun. Get over. Get over. Is this guy gonna let me over? Maybe, maybe. Thank you. Oh, it's like Jesus. There's way too much going on there for merging. Yeah. Like I'm trying to merge. I can't break at the same time as I'm like merging to the left, merging to the left. Yeah. Holy cow. This is all. This is why I'm not a big city driving person, riding person. I don't get the idea of buying like a sport bike and just tooling around city streets. I mean, this is more than you need. Just fix the mirror issue. I keep having to push it back. It's annoying. That's another distraction too. Yeah, they sure did a better job with the mirror. Development wouldn't have cost that much to do something that would have been like compliant to dot that would have worked and that you could have folded you know yeah this is a uh, new road They say morons that like run it out. Like what what are you doing? <laughs> you knew you had to get over. Why wouldn't you just get over ahead of time? Uh, who knows? Some high school chick driving, it looks like. Going the wrong way on the road on a bicycle, that's not legal. You have to be like a car can't just go the wrong way <laughs> oh boy but I'm on a bicycle it doesn't matter I don't know some places enforce that stuff pretty strictly strict strictly I don't think strictly is a word strict um, apparently Colorado well there's not really that many officers per se you know like a lot of cities you drive a lot of these areas, 
or if you were riding a lot of these areas, you see cops everywhere. Like there's one on the interstate this morning, Motors motorcycle cop. See what else crazy stuff we see. Hopefully the uh, GoPro media mod is actually recording audio correctly with a bias towards the back either way with the mic being it's real biased it should be recording to the mic it shouldn't be recording outside noises <laughs> otherwise I will just keep the medium uh, like everything else I'll keep it for for uh, you know vlogging type stuff when I'm walking around type vlogs or urban exploring but just get a uh, different camera once again like I talked about for the helmet probably the Sony it sticks out a little bit more but I think I could make it work wouldn't necessarily have to stick out really far I mean it's really not as long as you think so I'm just now kind of like well they might bring a new one out because Sony hasn't updated their camera in a long time, so they really need a 4K that does 60 frames a second. Actually, if they really want to corner their market on being the best, they would do like a 5.7K or something, you know? Not that most of us could even edit that, but as just a, if nothing else is a marketing feature and, and if it worked if you had a very powerful computer and even though YouTube doesn't support it, it would catch more detail. So the more detail you catch and then when it compresses and all that good stuff then, you know, it, you're still getting the detail. <laughs> you're going to have more detail than before. So this is actually my official third time out on the Beta 150. Yep, my third time. What the heck is that person doing holding plastic? It's just like streaming on the side. It's supposed to be a banner because they're failing at life right there. Now they're going to walk across with a piece of plastic just streaming. Wait, it's like a drop cloth. He just lost something out of his cup. Yeah, he's high or something. He just started tipping his cup sideways, lid fell off. He's just moseying across, <laughs> like, what are you doing, bro? Uh, yeah, you got the dump motels along here. There are, I, I bet back in the day, they were probably pretty nice. They're not anymore. End of trail. Ooh, they have HBO. Like, if you're still advertising you have HBO, there's something wrong. Because I expect any motel I check in to have cable or some type of TV service. Got chick on my butt. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Oh, nice. License plate for her front is on her dash. Nice. He's going to back up. I'm surprised, like, somebody left him space. Like, that much space. It's one of those people that leave a semi amount of space. That you can't see it behind the post. Ugh. Ridiculous. Ah, shit. Come on. It's like you're killing me here. It's getting hot down here.
Oh, it's so hilarious. Like, so many people, like, got so offended as if I was calling them themselves a bad parent with my video of the dude that has his kid riding on a freaking busy mountain road. And then people question me about the road. Like, I know that road like the back of my hand because I live at the basically base of it. I live right across the interstate. <laughs> like, I am there multiple times a week. And the stuff I see, it gets tiring. But it's funny, by wording the video as, like, they're a, a bad parent, they're a piss poor parent, they're a piece of shit parent. They take it as if I, like, said they, who is watching the video, is a crappy parent. Hey, I don't know the guy. It's pretty clear I don't know the guy. And you can't identify the guy. And I, it's not like I went and found where he parked his truck and got his plate and posted that or anything. It's like, oh my God, people. And then you get people that rationalize, you don't know their circumstances. You know, they could have got lost. Lost from where? There's no trails. Now, if they were up higher on Mount Hermon Road, I could be like, yeah, you know, or Rampart Range Road. I could be like, hey, you know, they are, uh, they could be lost. Or they're just trying to connect something because, you know, all those dead end trails off of Mount Hermon and stuff, those are all legal for OHV, but stupid because they, nothing connects. So, you know, technically getting on Mount Hermon Road, then you're illegal. But if you're connecting, I, I could understand, but this is all the way near the base where there's A, the most traffic. So you have the craziest drivers, the worst drivers, and just a lot of traffic in general versus higher up. And there's no trails. There's not even a trail to post down there. There is literally nothing. So, uh, it is hilarious. People on Facebook all like, oh my God, oh, you, oh, you said he was a bad parent. <laughs> oh my God. Like, are you the person in the video or something? Like, what is your major malfunction? I can't believe you took, you wasted time on this. Like, time, it takes two seconds. It took me literally five minutes. And I was doing stuff with the other part of the clip, so... I got to that, I was like, boom, put that little piece up. It was like such a short piece. Put that up. You know? So I, I actually sent it to the ranger, not to report, just to like, hey, you know, there's so many people out there that are doing this every single week, and I'm sure you've seen it, but just to let you know, and, and just to get your feedback on this, because so many people are on my ass, and I see, I know a lot of rangers, I know a lot of people in the industry, I know a lot of people. And so it's like, you know what? These people, uh, you know what the ranger said? He said, that's a case where I would 100% give the person a ticket and I would be happy doing it because it's like if I hit the kid or the kid goes down or I hit him the main thing is if he goes down and then they complain to the forest service like oh blah 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 well they have no complaint because you're not legal and if I hit him you're going to cause me a lot of headache a lot of grief because I'm going to feel bad because I hit a kid, but it's you, the parent, that dragged the kid out there. Now, we all did stuff when we were kids. 1980s was a different time. There was a lot less people. 